So, uh, our third panel of the day, um, finance industry and fintech, can we have a level playing field? I think we're going to talk about startups and uh, incumbents, whether they are large insurance companies or large banks or payment networks, um, and, and if we can uh, get a level playing field from a regulatory point of view or a compliance uh, uh, point of view. Uh, I'm sure that some people are going to say yes, and some people are, gonna, are going to say uh, uh, no, maybe, or, uh, or it would be great if we uh, had so. So um, before we launch into the uh, conversation, I'd love for each one of you to introduce uh, yourselves very, uh, very quickly to the, uh, uh, to the audience. Marianne Barbalayani, je suis directrice générale de la Fédération bancaire française. Marianne Barbalayani, I'm the CEO of the French Banking Federation. Bernard Spitz, I am uh, the, the chairman of the French Insurance Federation, FFA. Uh, hello, Alexandre Pro, I'm uh, co-founder and CEO of Conto, who's, which is um, a fintech, basically a, a B2B new bank, so we're addressing small businesses. I am Jean-Charles Samuelian, I'm co-founder and CEO of Alan. We are a full stack health insurance in France, meaning that we are regulated by the French regulator. And we serve as well small and medium businesses and individuals in the health insurance market in France. Well, um, rather than being neutral, I will actually take a position to open the, uh, the conversation and it will be uh, uh, hopefully not too extreme of a position, but feel free to uh, uh, disagree with me uh, wholeheartedly or to tap me on the back and say that I'm right. Um, I believe that when it comes to uh, startups, essentially small businesses, nascent young businesses, and uh, large incumbents, uh, the field is not level by definition. There are different types of resources available to uh, uh, both constituencies, either in the aggregate or individually. And to think that a uh, regulator or a governance can make uh, the field level so that competition is uh, equal is utopian at best. Now we can discuss whether this is good or bad for innovation, but the point of view that I'm opening with is there is no level playing field between uh, startups and between uh, incumbents, and it is a fact, and we have to deal with it. Am I wrong or am I right? Marianne. Okay, since you are to talking about utopy, I'm going to start by a quote by Jean-Jacques Rousseau, who was a very big lover of freedom. And he said, I would like to leave entirely free, meaning I would like to live entirely sub submitted to the laws of my country. So I think this is uh, somehow a, a good summary for what I wanted to say. Maybe um, four very quick points. First of all, regulation is legitimate. And I will try to, to give two or three examples of the reason why. Third, the second point, it must be tough. Third point, it must be neutral. We're talking level playing field, and I think it's very important that regulation is neutral. And I will, uh, and the fourth point I'd like to make is that it doesn't prevent competition, and it doesn't prevent innovation. So, first of all, why is regulation le legitimate? Very quickly, the banking sector, the banking industry, the financial industry at large, including insurance, my colleague from the insurance uh, business, is a very regulated industry. We're suffering from that somehow and protesting from time to time, but all in all and in the long run, I must say that this is legitimate and not questionable. And the reasons why we are a regulated industries, there are many reasons, I would say maybe two major reasons. First of all, consumer protection. And second, protection of the integrity of the financial system, both in terms of systemic risk, but also in terms of what we call, uh, uh, let's say for example, money laundering or prevention of uh, terrorism financing. So, um, all in all, it's very easy to understand why uh, it's legitimate to be regulated, in some cases even over-regulated. 
uh, because nobody, for example, wants to uh, be the, the place where terrorism financing can be, uh, can be made. We are in Paris here. Uh, we've been through a lot of things, and we know that, well, I've learned a lot. For example, I've learned through our regulators how much it costs to buy a Nuzi or a Kalashnikov, and how you can find, finance it very easily with a consumer credit. So we are directly involved in many aspects of society and of society protection. We are confronted to cyber security risks, major cyber security risks. Among other regulations, French banks are directly regulated by military law. And uh, for that, the IT people in our banks, in many large banks, are directly supervised by uh, the military authorities because they are managing an essential infrastructure that is deemed essential for the, for the security of our country. So, um, well, it, it's, it's not really necessarily to explain why regulation is tough and must be tough, and why are banks um, abiding by that? Well, first of, all, we, first of all, we are in society, so we don't want to play a bad role in society. And second, because confidence is key, and we need confidence. Then maybe just one last well, point. Well, very quick one then. Very quick. Is it a problem for innovation or uh, competition? Well, we have a lot of innovation and competition. We will release shortly, uh, as a banking federation, a, a, a white book about innovation in the banking field. We have released with Finance Innovation, which is the uh, uh, entity where we are discussing with fintechs in, in France, a, a white book also on the fintech offers for uh, the banking sector. So this is happening. We have the lowest rates in Europe for credit, so competition is there and innovation is there and we need a level playing field that's the last point Thank okay I, I'm not sure how we went from my assumption that there's no level playing field which is different than there should be a level playing field to Kalashnikovs so I think that I missed a few points at that, that uh, here would anyone want to counter Marianne's uh, uh, point between the two of you um, I, I will agree on the fact that it's important that there is regulation, uh, especially in the business we are in, because we manage either money or life or, of end users. So that's really important that we have rules and that we have rules that are very fair to the users. That's the, fa the first thing. The second thing, I'm not sure that r regulation, like that there is as much innovation or competition in the market that are heavily regulated. Uh, I think that there have been, but uh, very far away from other industries. And mainly, it was due because it was really hard for new entrants to, to appear in this kind of market. And, and insurance is one good example where there were no independent new entrants for 30 years, which means that uh, even if there is incremental innovation within the market, and there were a lot, it's hard for disruption to, to enter. So I, I guess regulation can be a limitation. The, 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 and there are two, two last topics. I, I think as a startup, we have to see regulation as an opportunity more, more than as a limitation. So we have to see regulation as a way to be more flexible, uh, quicker to react based on regulation, so how we use that as a competitive advantage, and that's what we saw uh, as a company. Um, th that's the, the important point, I guess. The, the, the last is how we make regulation evolve, and how we can be heard as new companies that have new internal processes, a new way of building products to affect regulation in the middle term. So, those kind of industry who are banking or insurance are able to become the industries that are leading technology in the world, which they are not yet today. Bernard, get up. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at us on the stage. You have the old world, and uh, yeah, and you have the the, the, the new uh, the startups, and uh, yes, it's it's not a level playing field. Uh, they have basket, they can run faster, they are much more easy going and uh, they have a terrible advantage.